So why do you talk about it? I talk about it because of that. I was, I was raised in drugs. I was raised around addiction. Um, one of my stepfathers was a dealer. I did not raise my children in that. I decided I wanted them never to be around that. I raised my children in church, two-parent home. I knew their business all the time, yet my daughter at 17 became an addict because she cut her thumb at work went to the emergency room, got it stitched up, and was sent home with a bottle of Lorisets. Now, I didn't know about the Lorisets, but when she ran out of that prescription, they were readily available from others at work, and she started purchasing them there. When she couldn't afford the pills anymore and her addiction was too great, she moved to meth. And then she started shooting up, and then we've, we've been 13 years now of ups and downs, in and out of rehabs, um, prison, my grandson was born with opiates in his system. I have guardianship of him. She's on a, on a good road right now, but this is a child who had addiction through both bloodlines, and she was handed a bottle, and then she just started buying them. And I think that as parents, it's hard to see that. Um, I saw it earlier just because I was raised in it and I knew the signs, but as Sam was saying about pills, you know, that's. When your child comes home and I, and I have a breathalyzer that I kept beside the bed and I'm, you know, my son would have to blow in it when he got home. I mean, I'm serious about this. After my first one, you know, fell into it, I do random drug testing at my house. Um, but with alcohol, as a parent, you can smell it. You can see they're a little wobbly. You know, there, there are different things, indicators that tell us, okay, our kids are not okay. But with pills, there really aren't those indicators. Yeah.